Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for my empties. So this is everything that I finished up in the month of February. Let's dig in. I've got some sheet masks. None of them were exciting. Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Brightening Face Mask. So this was in my project pan. Um, this is a hydrogel mask with material over one side. It's a two-piece mask, so you've got a piece for the jaw or the bottom of the face and a piece for the top of the face. It sticks really well to the skin, which is great. You can actually like, you don't have to be laying in bed, not moving so that it doesn't flop off your face. It like grips to your face, but it's not wet. And I, I don't feel like it did anything. Like took it off, no change. My skin actually felt a bit dry. I was like, oh my god, give me the serums and the moisturizers. Uh, so I wouldn't buy this again. I've probably got some kicking around in one of my drawers back here, over there, right there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I am, eh, would not buy, would not buy. Um, Dr. Jart rubber mask moist lover so this is similar to the skin iceland where it is a two-part hydrogel mask the difference is um it's not a serum but it's kind of like a um gel moisturizer you put that on your face and then you put the mask over the top i didn't like it because it wouldn't stick to my face it kept like falling off the bottom of my face um and when I took it off, the like gel moisturizer stuff was so thick on my face and so sticky. It wouldn't absorb. It would, my hair was sticking to it. So yuck. So yuck. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I didn't see any like improvements. I didn't. I didn't see the point. I was like, that was just an unpleasant experience. And now I have mask in my freshly washed hair so no thanks and also the annoying thing about that is if you don't use all of the like pot stuff the like gel moisturizer stuff it just goes in the bin anyway so it's like waste 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 sticky why is my hair dirty no thanks um, Sassatini Antioxidant Regenerating Face Mask is just a standard sheet mask, nothing special happening here. I, I wouldn't buy it. Next up, I have the Myzon Snail Repairing Foam Cleanser. Um, this lasted forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and that is why I would not buy it again. Along with the fact that I didn't really like the way it left my skin feeling. Oh, I can still feel a little bit in there. Hell no! Hell no! 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 Um, so I found that you a little bit of that goes such a long way. Like, it's hardcore. Hardcore foaming cleanser. And it kind of left my skin feeling like, not stripped or super dry, but almost like... It left some sort of residue on my skin that felt funny. I don't know how to describe it because I haven't really experienced it before, but it almost felt like, um, you know when you use a soap and it does strip your hands and before your hands are dry, they're sort of like, um, oh, I don't know how to describe that feeling. It's just, it's a weird feeling. It kind of did that to my skin but didn't make it feel dry, if that makes sense. Anyway, I wasn't a fan. Something else I wasn't a fan of, this is from um, Philosophy. I'm like, Purity? No, it's called Purity Philosophy. So this is a Purity Made Simple Cleanser. Um, this, uh, I didn't use this as a cleanser. I've had it kicking around in my uh, cupboard for so long, and this month I was just like, I've got to finish that because get out, just get out. So I've used this in the past a few times and historically it breaks my skin out. So 
I was like, no, I'm not using it for that. Um, but you can use it to wash makeup brushes as well. It's not particularly effective if you've got anything long wearing in the brush. So things like concealer and foundation. It's okay for breaking down like basic powders, but it's not good for breaking down like bright eyeshadows or anything like that. So yeah. I wouldn't buy it again, but it's out of my life now, which is great. I have a candle. This is Glass House, Merry and Bright. Oh yeah. I really liked this. I will say, I don't feel like this had as good scent throw as I would like. So this was, I think I got this for Christmas, not last year, but the year before, I think. Um, and initially, when I started burning this, I felt like it had good scent throw until I got to about halfway down the jar. And then I was like, it just smells like wax and a very, very faint scent of the candle. Like if you had never smelt this before and you came into my house when I was burning it, you wouldn't pick that it was like a lovely, beautiful scented candle. Um, but mm, yeah, so look, it's pineapple mint fizz. Unless Glass House came out and said, we've reformulated this to make it more punchy with the scent, I wouldn't buy it again. And I don't say that about any Glass House candles, really. Usually my reason for not wanting to purchase one again is because I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. But in this case, I wouldn't purchase it again because I didn't think the scent was... It wasn't strong enough for me not what I know and love from glass house basically okay another glass house item oh god it's covered in sheet mask goo this is a hand wash it's in the scent Casablanca which is velvet musk and bergamot it is really lovely um these big bottles last so long so what I like to do when I crack one of these open is I like to put half of this in like my bathroom bottle and top it up with water and then top this up with water because this gel it's kind of annoying um, when you pump it out and then you like go to you know do one of these into your hands to foam it up um, the gel is quite it's not firm but it takes time to break down and I find that most of the time half of it or more ends up flinging out of my hands and in the bloody sink so I feel like most of it is wasted which is why I water it down to make it more liquidy so that it breaks down quicker in my hands um, I would buy it again I don't have a problem with that because I know one of these will go a really long way and I just you know do what I mentioned. I split it basically and water it down. Um, so I don't have an issue with that. And I guess it's actually good because I end up with like a litre of cleanser rather than 500 mils. Um, and that works out to good value. But yeah, the formula on its own, I don't get along with super well. Daily Naturals End Sealer Treatment. This is a leave-in hair product. Um, it's basically just like a hair cream that smooths your hair, adds a little bit of shine, detangles, all that good stuff, moisturizers. Um, I liked it. I had it in my project pan. I finished it up. I probably wouldn't purchase it again. I'd be more inclined to try something new or, you know, buy like the Davinez oil, oil or something like that. So there we go. Drunk Elephant. I have the Coco Amino Glossing Shampoo and Conditioner here. Um, I don't really love these. I think they're pretty average for what they are. I finished them. I didn't really have like any major, major issues. I did notice with the conditioner though that it kind of made my hair feel, um, I don't know, almost like it was a bit, oh, this is the wrong word to use, but I have to say it, gungy. <laughs> It was like I would wash my hair and after I'd washed it, it almost felt like my hair was dirty still. Um, now, I only ever use a conditioner 
in the ends of like the lengths and the ends of my hair and I would notice that the top of my hair would be fine it would look clean it was lovely because I only had the shampoo there um, but the conditioner my ends would almost be a little bit stringy kind of like it doesn't rinse out properly and um, I was talking to Madeline about it and she's tried this as well and she was like yeah I always felt like I couldn't get the conditioner out of my hair like I couldn't rinse it out properly and I didn't really understand what she was saying until I was trying to finish it up and I was using it super regularly again I was like hang on yeah something's going on here this is weird so there's that about this I like the shampoo though I didn't have an issue with it I just probably wouldn't buy it because it stinks it smells like uh, it smells like marzipan and I just I'm like I don't want my hair to smell like that you're stinky no sorry um CC Lim Glam 24 karat gold luxury ample I had this in my project pan as well and look when I was comparing this to how my skin felt on like a really nice skincare routine I was using the um and I'm sorry if you've heard this before because I'm repeating myself from other videos um I was using the Sunday Riley Luna oil and then I finished the Luna oil and I was just using this and I was like <laughs> no 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 um I didn't feel like this did a whole lot for me I wouldn't repurchase it but it's done at least it didn't go to waste skin ink pure pure revival peel so fuck, i hate these kinds of products this says um prep your skin to a perfect canvas exfoliates even as it repairs maximizes absorption of nutrients from your skincare products and primes your skin to create the perfect canvas for your makeup it sounds like a moisturizer doesn't it um, like an acid moisturizer. It's not. It's one of those um, gel exfoliators that you put on clean dry skin and you massage it in to the skin and it like balls up and they say that it, it's exfoliating your skin. It's not. It has an ingredient in the formula that reacts with the natural oils in your skin and that ingredient and your oils create a solid so it's not your skin it's this product and oil bowling up and I just I feel like products like this are misleading so there we go I didn't like it goodbye something I did like was the Flabois Mint Bomb so this is just like an individual hair deep conditioning treatment I've got a bunch of them in my shower at the moment and I really enjoy them I prefer the milk bomb based purely on the scent formula is the same these don't really smell minty which is a shame uh, but the milk bombs smell amazing so there we go I don't know if the milk bombs have been discontinued I haven't been able to find them um, only the mint bombs and I really like the formula which is why I stocked up on them. Orbe straight away smoothing blowout cream. This was just a little sample. I use this so like I'd use it here once and then I'd use it there once and I have no idea how I feel about it. I it was just like whatever. She's finished. We're getting through some samples. Um Oi Absolute Color Gloss Serum. So these are like individual ampu amples. Uh you pop them in your hair uh, when it's wet and then you style it um I'm not sure that I really saw much of anything happen with this I've got a whole bunch of them Madeline gave them to me um so I want to play with them a bit more and I I'm pretty sure these are being discontinued or they have been discontinued um but I'm gonna play with them a bit more but based on my first experience I wasn't really I was a bit like did it do anything I don't know quarterly uh micellar cleansing water this just doesn't I, this is not good <laughs> this is not good it does remove makeup eventually but when it comes to using a micellar water or a makeup remover and like say a cotton pad and you're wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping, and wiping it's just like 
fucking hurry up. I'm about to wipe my goddamn face off and there's still makeup on me. I'm not here for it. I can't be fucked. I've got better shit to do with my life than wipe at my face and tug at my skin for five minutes to remove my makeup when I can do it in like 30 seconds with the cleansing oil. No, thank you. Okay, makeup y items. And look, let's start with this one so we can end on a high because I feel like I've been complaining a lot. Um, this is a makeup sponge. I think it was like a gift with purchase from Yes Style. I'm getting rid of it because I endured it for so long and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why I've put up with it for so long. Um, it's just, I think because I've used, you know, the Ella sponges and a lot of other really beautiful soft, soft sponges. There is one from a brand that I've been using recently that I haven't had the go ahead to talk about, but I've been using it for a really long time and I hope that soon I will be able to rant and rate, well not rant, but rave about it. It's like beautiful and soft. Uh, another one that I really like are the Nikia Joy ones, really beautiful and soft. Like they're the sponges that I use and anything that is like even just a teeny, 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 tiny bit firmer than those, I'm like, you garbage, get out of my life. So yeah, that's garbage and now it's out of my life, which is great. Okay, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. This was in my project pan. Oh, I'm kind of sad, like I had this like thin little ring around here with like a little extra bit down here and um, I dropped it and it broke. Anyway, it's beautiful. I really like this product. I thought it was fantastic. Um, great like winter bronzer for me when, you know, I'm pale because otherwise it's not really dark enough, but I really enjoyed it. Beautiful formula. And I have the MAC Eyebrows in Lingering. This is the old packaging. Um, I think I've got a couple more of these stashed away. I picked them up at the Estee Lauder corporate store because I really like them and they were cheap as chips. So there we go. I finished up one of them. Love it. Lingering is a fantastic color for me. So that is it for my February 2021 empties. I'm pretty pleased with it. I was kind of a bit like, oh, am I going to have much for an empties video this month? But I came through in the end, which is fantastic. Um, let me know how you guys went with your February empties and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.